Okay. Let the spacing begin. Yeah, seriously. So yeah. Um, oh, we got a pretty aggressive matchup going on. Now. All right. I wouldn't say Dark Gentleman bodied Killers last time, but it was. I wouldn't say it was that close. It was like uh, JV a JV two and then um, like a two stock. So in general, I think. This matchup is really hard for Jigs, but from the way Dark Gentleman plays it and the way Kill Hurts plays in general, I think Jigglypuff has the upper hand. Um, he seems to be retaining that uh, that slightly higher airspace coming in with the Nair. I mean, I guess that's really one of the only tools Jigglypuff has to yeah, approach yeah. Kirby. Yeah. But in honesty, the entire match is just jumping around each other to get on top because no one wants to be on bottom in the air. Let's see, that's nice. Oh, good. Oh. Wow, he must have just barely gotten off the ledge. I think that he was dead there before the down smash. I'm not sure, but Damn. he's probably dead anyway. <laughs> That's not how I expected that to go, but I enjoyed watching it. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was quite quite the exchange. But racked up a lot of damage on the Julie Puff there. There we go. Yeah. So a key thing here is that they're playing a very good air game, I'd say, so it's like, it's less of a, less of a deal. Oh, you should be able to jump, yeah. Less of a big deal. You should be a stock. Um, Jigglypuff can't really shield on the ground, because if he gets caught with the up tilt and it gets shield broken, that's a stock. Um, but like I said, they're playing a very good air game, so it doesn't seem like there's even like, this, that's not even happening. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see Dark Unless Gentleman hanging around on the ground too often. Down there, nice. That was that's near to death. Good combo. Beautiful. Dark Gentleman says beautiful. But he's still ahead by a stock, so now his back throw send Kirby way off stage. Don't go low. That was way no. Oh, no, the up air. The up air. Yeah. That's what we're talking about it's not really one of Kirby's moves. The up air. No. Nice. That should be a stock. He has no jumps. Flubs on flubs. I'm so sad. He like wants to win so badly. No DI either. He will not stop down smashing. He gets back. Yeah, it's a little at what right. cost? At what cost? Probably 86%. It looks like. It's the oh. most. Whoa. Ooh. I'm not minutes. sure. Yes, Kirby not safe in his roll up there at over 100%. Just but like does that. manage to take another yeah, stop. The forward air, did, wasn't expecting the forward air, so he was just like, already doing the forward. <laughs> that hurts me. <laughs> I don't. I, uh, come on, Jesse. <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to see good matches, cause like I feel like it, there were some flubs there that could have been, you know, it could have been uh, a lot could have been harder. I never would have expected to have to play maybe Dark Gentleman in those finals. So Dark Gentleman and uh, and his whole crew have been uh, improving very quickly. Who's Reptar and uh, I'm actually not sure of the tag of, of Dark Gentleman's roommate is a Samus main. Really, pretty strong. Uh, I don't. Know, he doesn't come out that often. But, uh, they've got a good training posse up there. Cool. Upper West. Not too far from me. I should get over there, learn some things. Who'd you play? Uh, I played in the first round. Um, you know, I, it's, it seems like a long time ago. I don't even remember. <laughs> gotcha. I'll look at the bracket. Oh, I played Reptar in the first round. Oh, nice. And we had some Falcon Dittos. Some Falcon Dits. Gotcha. Should be a stock. Yep. Well, it's tied at four. Um, two puff balls. One. Only one winner. So we'll see what happens. Up, up. I was afraid. I was afraid for Dark Gentleman there. Ooh. Jesse knows coming he... in from the top is a little. It's a little risky. Right. Nice. That should be a kill. That should do it. Probably didn't even need the top platform for that one at that damage. Agreed. But it always helps. 
Ooh. What are you gonna do though? Nice. See, no, I'm glad he knows that combo now. He's been, he's been really working on that. Good DI, that's all he could do really. Wow, that was a great trade for Dark Gentleman. <laughs> I cannot believe his Kirby, uh, that Nair traded with uh, the other Nair. Killer collecting himself on the platform for a second. Uh, up there again. Oh, doesn't not in time. Yeah, I don't really know percents. When Jigglypuff can rest and when he can't. I don't really know those percents. I think. Uh... Yeah, that either. That won't kill. I'm seeing a lot of like unexpected moves out of both out of both players, but. Uh... Especially kilohertz. I don't know. It's if gotta it's hurt so badly. <laughs> dying, at, dying at 60. So annoying. There it goes. Nice. So two two. Anyone's game. This is where it's most important to have good spacing. And kilohertz wants to put this away. So I really hope he. Can. Nice oh. try. I wanted oh. to see. I wanted to see the up B there. Jeez, the down smash is so good. <laughs> You don't have to tell me I play Falcon. <laughs> nice. And and like like I was just saying that uh that just turned from uh, a po a possible stock from from Kilohertz into like the entire stock went by. Sorry, I'm like really slow talking today. I was really hung over this morning. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just recovering. My entire life. Really recovering. had all day, man. Yeah, all day at work. <laughs> Definitely. Not necessarily helpful. <laughs> not super not helpful. Uh, yeah, Fries are never a good day for me. Um, but yeah, okay, that's a good, good back there. He doesn't have very many jumps. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, great. Right, no. that's it. That's it. There it goes. Alright, not a bodying. Not a bodying. But a strong victory for Dark Fire up. Alright, we got Kuzinator stepping off the mic to play in the winner's fi finals against Fyro right now.